I make paintings which you need to look at for, for a while. And if you look at them for a while, the more you'll see. The work starts with sensation. Colour is important because colour is what makes it impossible to see the thing the way you know it really is. His work starts out building a system kind of to make sense. And as the work starts to build towards that kind of universal theory of significance, it starts to disintegrate and break down. But rather than that falling to bits, being some kind of failure or shortcoming, with Jeremy it's like, oh, that's when things get interesting. Designing a structure that you know isn't gonna work, but in that failure actually coming to something that's more poignant or resonant or powerful or meaningful. The kind of art I make is like music in as much it has a, a dialectical rather than a straightforward relationship. I use this line all the time, I'll use it again. Um, you could never say what a piece of music was about. You couldn't say it was this proposition or this story. But if you went and listened to a piece of music, then at the end of it you felt that all the important questions you had to ask about anything had just been answered. So I think that's how art should work. You know that paintings are actually flat objects. You can't see anything in this room as flat. You can only look at it and see space. So that, that's what I work with. And colour, more than anything, is what makes that not just possible, but inevitable. Order and logic is what drives the work in a certain way. I wanted to get at this question of complexity in some more explicit way, thinking of the work as a proliferation of differences. But Jeremy's just a terrific painter. He's a He's been supported by the intellectual community for years. There was a time when we would sit together for an hour almost every afternoon and discuss painting. Really a fun person to discuss painting with. He's so knowledgeable. What I think I, I should like people to know is that it's not going to help if they try to see the work primarily in terms of some category that my painting is not actually consciously a statement about the state of abstract painting or the state of painting, etc., etc. 